Hey, Reiner. Hey, Phil. How's it going? Good. Little scared of this game just by the name. When's the last time you've turned on a PSP? Um, a long time ago. This might be a good reason to. So this is Corpse Party. This is a weird Japanese game that uh, Exceed has brought over. Um, and it's basically a Japanese horror movie translated into a 16-bit RPG. Seriously? Yeah. I mean, it's not really an RPG. It's more like an adventure game, but it looks like a 16-bit RPG. So give me a little background on this. Do these kids decide to go to a party and there's corpses there? Or is it intentionally no, so like they killed some dude and they went to this party to like... No, no. no. So what happens is uh, basically these kids are hanging out. Um, it's the last day in school for one of these kids. It's going to a different school. We've seen some gross stuff here. I'm just going to say the music's not really matching up. This it's not. music is not matching up with the video, but continue. It's an anime thing. Uh, so they, they're getting together to celebrate this last person's day at school, and uh, they do a chant. And this chant is supposed to be like a good luck charm so that they'll never lose each other. Are they standing in a pentagram? They screw up the chant, and they all get warped to this weird high school where they find out there are a ton of other kids from different high schools in Japan getting warped here and dying. How did they screw it up? Was it like an army of darkness kind I of thing? I don't know. I haven't gotten far enough in the game to know that. So you can see, you start on any chapter, and one of the cool things about this what? game, you pick which chapter you want to start on. I mean, obviously, you need to open up. I've played through chapter four, so I've unlocked each of these okay, one Okay, so one. you can only start on chapter one when you boot it up. Yeah, but I mean, at any point in the game, you can start on any of them. Uh, but the cool thing they do, they have an ending list. You kind of actually try to collect endings, and you, you know, all these endings except the yellow ones are bad endings. And those are just the, like... That's when you screw up and you get to see how your character dies in a very gruesome way. Really? Yeah. Can we see one? Uh, I mean, you can't watch them. This is just to oh, show you which ones you've collected. But we'll see if we get one. I'm going to actually go into chapter one so that we're not getting too spoilery. But I'm going to load up a saved game here so we don't have to watch you, the long intro. Do you just kind of pick from a default kid or are you just given a... No, a each character? chapter you play as a specific one of the kids and sometimes you, you switch around as you go. Um, I'm going to jump in 45 minutes into the game here. Everything's in Japanese. I mean, the dialogue's in Japanese, and then the, the text is translated, but the actual dialogue, spoken dialogue, okay. is Japanese. So I'm playing as uh, Naomi and Psycho. Uh, Whoa. Animation. So this is, uh, yeah, like I said, this looks like an old-school RPG. Yeah. Text box and all. There is a corpse... Uh, the corpse has a name tag. So you actually collect these name tags as you go from different corpses, and you can click on them, and it'll tell you how they died. It's kind of disturbing. That's the corpse party element. It's a weird collection to have. You can see, like, as you get into later chapters, you're you're finding a lot of dead bodies. Pretty much everybody in this school is dead. And they have died in really gruesome ways. This person starved to death while searching for friends. That's, That's kind of sad. sad. Yeah. yeah. It's There's some sad stuff going on here. Let's, uh... Any stupid deaths, like fell on plastic scissors? This person scissors? gave up on escaping and committed suicide with Beloved. That's sad, too. It is. This is depressing. It's a depressing game. It's a nice candle, though. Uh, those are your save points. Hmm. Whenever you see a candle. So let's uh, read this. No running in the halls. So if you start running... You'll be disciplined severely. So what happens? Can you run? Oh. All right. Had a key that opened this door. There's a lot of adventure game stuff. Opening up, uh, figuring out the ways to open doors. I have a really bad feeling about this room. I wouldn't go in there. Psycho's, uh, not got the best ideas, but we're gonna go in anyways. I got an idea. Why not just go for, like, the front doors on this place? Uh, they are locked. They will not open. Is that where it starts? Like, you can't? I mean, Pick we've definitely, out. like, I've gotten to the front doors and they're, like, straight up. It's like they're, the way they describe it is, it's like they're painted on. It's like mm. there's not even a door there. So this might not really be a school. Something, something weird going on here. Don't look at the newspaper. You should look at the newspaper. I'm going to look at the newspaper. It's like that stupid movie, The Ring, with those VHS tapes. You find a VHS tape later in this game. And people watching that. Why would you ever watch that if someone told you, like, you'll die if you watch it? Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Or saying Candyman in the mirror. Why would you not do that? You've never done that? Well, I've done it, but... See? But if I was a character in a movie, I wouldn't do it. 
How would you know? Maybe you are a character in a movie. Think about it. I just blew your mind. Hmm. It's kind of like this game. All right. So this, this newspaper is kind of filling you in on some of the backstory of the school. There were some kidnappings. Uh, investigators located the bodies. The so children this, were kidnapped. Is this like an episode of Supernatural or Buffy? Like once you figure it out, you can kind of reverse the curse and save I don't, some lost souls. I don't know. I mean, I'm still, I'm at the point I am, I'm most of the way through chapter four. And we still have not figured out exactly what's going on or if we can escape at all. So what's a good ending then? What's a gold star ending? I mean, that's just progressing through without your character dying, dying? to the okay. next chapter. And I don't know if by the end of the game, everyone will just die. This setup is pretty damn cool. Like, I'm intrigued by this whole thing. There's a what candle here. That? That's it's no candle. Unlit candle. Oh, we already saw this. So there is a little bit, the one thing I will say that kind of sucks is, I mean, it's like an old school adventure game. So there's a little bit of that. Sometimes you just need to kind of click around and figure out what you're supposed to right. be doing. Or over, over blood. Or like over blood, yes. All right. Um, oh, here it is Heavenly again. Post. You'll never leave this room is, is what is it now says. Is this purgatory? I mean, there is a lot of like people telling you you can't get out, that there's no way to leave. Apparently that skeleton is sobbing. Okay. I think I remember this room. This room is just kind of messing with us. This is one of the first parts in the game where they're really like... Because you start panicking. Like, how are you supposed to get out of here? Is it bugged? No, it's actually not. This is, like I said, this is totally just the game and the room messing with us. You sure? Yes. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim lately. <laughs> oh, Whoa. here we go. See? Now the characters are starting to freak out. Because you told us to go in here. Bam. There we go. So is this game available at retail or is it just downloadable? This is download only right now on okay. PSN. And uh, I will have a review up on the website sometime in the next week or so, whenever I am able to finish it up. Get all your stars. You gotta get all the stars. So these paper doll scraps they're talking about, that's what that was part of that good luck charm. We we're supposed to hold on to those scraps, and if we lose them, then it means that we won't stay together. And Psycho has lost hers. Do people still wear school outfits like that? In Japan? Totally. Really? Japan's a very different place. Whoa. All right, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, that's, that's messed up. And I have a true, though. I have run into other characters here who are, uh, are killing people. I want everybody out there to really think about their friends. Oh, boy. Do you like any Look of them? Look at this. Look at this thing. Mess happened here. The hell is that? It's an exploded body. Something bad happened here. Superhuman speed. Like the flash. Don't step in it. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. Throw up. This game doesn't really pull any punches. Like, there's lots of, like, there are points where your character will straight up be like, this is super gross, I'm gonna throw up now. How long is a chapter? Uh, they, they get longer as you go. So, like, this first chapter maybe takes a couple hours, and then they end up taking probably three, four hours. And would you say it's more Blue like sport. a... Yes. It's more of an adventure game? Is there any combat? Is there any... See? Yeah, very much an adventure game. There are, so you'll see we have HP, and sometimes you'll run into situations where, like, like, for example, I hit a hallway where there was poison on the ground. Mm. And if I stepped in the poison, it would lower my HP each time. And if I kept stepping in it, eventually I died. But then I got a bad ending, so it was okay. So you, you kind of go out of your way to find ways to die then? Yeah, I mean, I kind of... I, I think that's part of the appeal of this game is, you know, it's for horror fans. And it's... Sometimes you kind of like seeing what the bad endings, the bad stuff that happens to people. That right? worked out. Figured out that puzzle. Yeah, how complex do the puzzles get in inventory management? Not very. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See that little ghost boy? Yeah. Yeah, they do not get very complex at all. All right, here's the bathrooms. What's going to happen here? I wouldn't, I wouldn't go in there. Let's see here. No water. 
Drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair. I know how that goes. That's just like my drain back home. That's gross. I have long black hair. Uh, let's check out these urinals. Ammonia. ammonia. That's not so bad. That's like cat pee, right? Later on, you'll find stuff that smells worse than ammonia. Oh, no one here. No one here. And... Whoa! Okay. <laughs> All I heard was a guy yell Akira. Yep. Which so is a, a damn fine movie and manga. Better manga than movie. So that's just uh, some some ghost who was angry that we opened the door there. And there's actually... You <laughs> I'm unlock, taking a crap! As, as you do stuff in the game, you also unlock extra chapters, which are just very tiny little chapters you can play at any time. And there is one that explains who that ghost is in the bathroom, which is cool. Ghosts need privacy, too. All right, here's the girls' room. No water still. Of course, they have more stalls than the guys. It's just not fair. Well, we have urinals. All right. Okay. Nothing. Oh, that one's locked. All right. Just ignore that locked one. There's a bucket here. Unidentifiable uh, meat. Yum. With maggots. Man, right. we need more games with, with with graphics like this. I think there's some, some dialogue here that you're going to find interesting, Reiner. Okay. So, so pay attention to this one. Here we go. Well, what? Is that a translation error? I don't think it is. Um, the smeary stuff or her ass? A ass medicine. Okay. Yeah, that's my reaction. Again? Whoa. Now, hold on. Before we continue with this dialogue, Reiner, I just want to say, if you had been teleported to this school where everyone's dying, your butt would be pretty dry, too. Yeah, but I'd bring my ass medicine. Yeah, you wouldn't be asking your best friend for your ass medicine, because you right. would have come prepared. You bring your cell phone, your wallet, and your ass medicine. That's what you do. What is Psycho's problem? Antibacterial cream. Okay. She has a is... different problem. Whoa! <laughs> Seriously? That's some dialogue in this can game. That, can that be the main image on, on the site? Yeah. Can that be our top story image? Can it be? Actually, we might need to ask Andy. <laughs> Jason's got one eye closed. I think that's the sign of questionable. I'm going to go butter up my pooper with it real, real good. good. There we go. Okay, so... Yay! She's real excited. <laughs> Naomi, now Naomi knows that you shouldn't be excited about this. <laughs> I, just, I, I don't want anybody out there to even think about what happened here <laughs> and why she needs to do this. Is this like a new craze in Japan? Is it? So I don't know. Uh, maybe somebody in the comments can answer. Maybe this is like a thing Japanese schoolgirls do. I I don't know. Is there any backstory to this? I shouldn't keep bothering her while she's occupied. I think I'm just going to leave. Also, there are a lot of situations like this where you're like, why are the characters separating? They know that's not what they should do. Oh. There's something creepy happening. So that's that character crying, not the one in the... the, the no, that's somebody room. else. Okay. I'm just hearing someone. It sounds like Yuka, who's one of our other classmates. Actually, the little sister of one of the classmates. I'm sorry, I can't stop thinking about what just happened. W what are you thinking about? <laughs> the dialogue that just flashed on screen. Oh, you about the, like the, the little sister calling for a brother. That's what you, you mean? You think the person translating went a little insane or was disgruntled? and? You know, I... I've talked to some translators at XE before, and they're great translators. Um, it kind of makes me wonder. I don't know. I think I think they probably translated it accurately. Oh, man. Is there going to be more to this? Oh, God. Put her there. So, yeah, she was in the stall that was locked before, which is uh, questionable. Okay. Kind of set up for some stuff that happens later. All right. 
So this game is good at constantly kind of throwing really creepy random stuff at you. There's always, like, th that little scene we saw of the ghost boy coming up the stairs, there's always little stuff like that happening, where you're like, what is going on? At this point, nothing else that happens matters. This game peaked, and... and In chapter one, no there's less. No, there's no getting better than that. You want some ask medicine for that? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, for buttering up my pooper. Yes. Gotcha. All right. Cool. I just can't even look at the screen anymore. <laughs> Too much? Yeah, these, these girls. Let's go down this way. Oh, boy. Told you not to step so, in it. So, I was all on board for this game up until that moment. Now I'm really on board with it. <laughs> is there anything else crazy dialogue-wise throughout the rest of the game? Or is this just like a one-off, like, isolated incident? There are, there are just random moments where the dialogue and the characters go off into, like, tangents that you weren't expecting. And it's it's weird and unexpected. And I mean, it kind of works with just the overall weirdness of this game. I mean, I'm still... You know, like, I'm I'm halfway through Chapter 4 and still not sure what to think about this game. Like, there's just so, some very weird stuff. Okay. And lots of gruesome stuff, too, which, again, if you're if you're a horror fan, if you're interested in... Uh, is it just kind of described as gruesome, or is it actually graphic? They show some pictures as well. They have some animations that they yeah, show. Yeah, the beginning had some, like, anime. Yeah. Those, no. pop, those pop up throughout. They're always, like, still animations, but... Now you said it's based on a movie. Was it a live action or? Is I don't. It... I don't think it is based on. I think it's just like sort of inspired by like oh, Japanese okay. horror movies. Gotcha. Is all I meant. All right. Classroom five A. Says everybody should join us there. Everyone's fine. I'm sure we'll be okay. So this is published here by Exe. Yes. And I believe the team that developed it is called Team Grigri. I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them. So I don't know if this is the first thing they've done, or if they just do a lot of obscure Japanese games that usually don't get brought over here. Cool idea. Hats off to the scriptwriters. I'm I'm just happy that like publishers like Exceed exist to bring over weird stuff like this. Like even if it's not the best game ever, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to play it because it's super weird and there's nothing else like this out there. There's a ghost right there. That was a ghost. It was like a tear. So blue ghosts look like this. Um, okay. They're good guys. Sure. Red ghosts are bad guys. So if you talk to red ghosts, sometimes they'll like they'll say mean things. They'll tell you. Uh, they'll lie to you. So like if they if they give you advice, they might be giving you uh, false advice. So you know where you're going here. I'm just kind of exploring. The moment. Let's see what this note says. Oh, There's a guy talking to his sister. Ugh. see people still writing a lot in, in this this reality. Yeah. I think we kind of lost our way a little with Twitter. <laughs> I wish that I was just finding tweets. Ooh, don't go in there. That one's locked. That one's actually locked for a long time. I just got the key in the fourth chapter. So Okay, so you're, you're basically the entire game takes place in this school and you yeah, Go back you're, you're opening up new areas, but you're exploring a lot of the same environments. And the environments themselves kind of change as you go. And How big is the play space, would you say? Is it small for a game? Is it? It's actually pretty pretty small, but like I said, they, they kind of change it up as you go. They'll, they'll like, like add in new stuff. Like Res Evil, is there like a, you know, you're in the mansion and then there's like a whole basement like complex there, that could open up. I mean, I know I, I, in chapter three, I suddenly opened up a second wing of the school that I didn't know was there thought we were friends. Ooh, okay. Here we go. It's amazing that the skull's still on, just sitting upright like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh oh There's we a gotta thing. gotta get that. All right, this, this is what like... What was that? We're, we're gonna try and get it. This is an example of, like, one of the super simplistic puzzles that they do. Whoa. All right, now it's over there. I can't see anything outside the window. Okay. Oh, oh, here's a ghost. The light's going to run away from you. 
All right, so we have two people with us. The trick is that you actually have to just leave someone on the other side. So I'm actually going to do it on that side because I know where it is. All right. All right, let's do this. Has anything really gotten you stumped? There, there have been a couple of times where I like, you know, like in that room that we got locked in where I was just like, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, no, I have to leave them on the other side. So remember that spot. Remember where that is. Okay. Don't forget Reiner. I see it. But yeah, there's been some times where just, just because of the nature of like, like I said, it's like an old adventure game. You need to do things in the right order. So there have been times where I'm like, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do, but usually I figure it out pretty quick. Right there. I think so. Okay. See you right, later. So we're going to leave Psycho there, and you hopefully... Crazy ass broad. She dies. Oh. Tricked you. What was that sound? Alright, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Ah, the infirmary key. So now we can go unlock the infirmary. I don't even want to know where she's keeping those. Alright, so this is Corpse Party. I think that was a nice little look at it. I kind of want to play through this whole game. It's it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's... And it's not just that random moment of dialogue. Like, this actually looks kind of interesting. There's there's nothing else like it. The one thing that's a little frustrating is you do hit points where, you know, if you die, you have to replay some dialogue. Hmm. But that's kind of the point of the game is to get right. those deaths. And they, they're good about giving you save points pretty often so that you don't have to replay very much dialogue. So, yeah, that's Corpse Party. I, I recommend anybody who has a PSP is looking for a cool, weird game. And it's out now. Out now. Go, go check it out and uh, watch out for my review on the site soon.